I've a Lately, I find myself spending more and more time here. I want you to know I was very impressed with your work back on Neon. I'm beginning to wonder if there's anything you can't handle. I'd like to test that theory. My Star Yard's been having a little trouble getting our next project off the ground. I need someone capable and decisive to step in and steer it in the right direction. Interested? Love the enthusiasm. I knew there was a reason I picked you to help with this project. It's a new ship. We want to diversify our fleet. Now, I don't know why the people I pay very handsomely to come up with new designs can't seem to get out of the R&D phase. And frankly, I don't care. I just want someone, you, to go there and show them how it's done. Excellent. I'll send word ahead to the project lead, Jules Degante, that you're taking point. They'll all be instructed to listen to you and follow your direction. I expect big things from you. So I'm excited to see what you managed to deliver. I don't believe you'll let me down. Ship is now docked. Perfect. Didn't even smudge the thing. I'm Walter Strat. <laughs> Everything's so new. Walter is quite proud of what his company has accomplished. And for good reason. Everyone else will follow. Oh, this must be Walter's consultant friend. Please, come join us. We've been waiting for you. Hi there. You must be Walter's colleague. He informed me that you'd be taking charge of Project Kepler despite the fact that we have a fully dedicated R&D staff already assigned to it. But that's okay. I'm sure that even though you have virtually no experience with this, you'll do a great job. Well, I hope your enthusiasm counts for something. Anyway, let's get to it. We shall see. As you probably know, we're tasked with coming up with Strout Eklund's next hit starship. But we have budget concerns, market research to finish, and we can't seem to agree on a design. So I guess Walter sent you to resolve these issues. Have at it. Okay, good. So, before we can do anything, we need to resolve the budget issue. We were charged with building the newest, hottest ship on the market, which won't be possible unless we petition the board for more money. So we have two new budget proposals. One will allow us to build what I consider to be a very sensible ship, but we'll have to make some tough design cuts. The other will allow us much more flexibility to put whatever we want into the ship. It's what I call the kitchen sink proposal. I don't love it, but it'll be next to impossible to approve. What should we go with? That sounds good to me, but remember, this ship will have fewer bells and whistles. We're not going to be able to include everything we want. Frank's luxury design has the most expensive components, and we've been having trouble convincing him to move away from that idea so we can stay within the budget. We need his help. Do you think you can get him to budge? I am right here, you know. I already gave my answer to Jules. We cut nothing. Okay, okay, I'm thinking. What? I... I never thought of it that way. 
Maybe I am letting my ego get the best of me. Fine. I see what you're saying. Perhaps we tone down the luxury aspects a bit. Does it really need so much gold trim? Probably not. For what it is worth, I believe that is the correct approach. Luxury should not be the goal here. Also, Frank annoys me. Great! That's one problem solved. I'll go forward with that budget proposal and we can move on. Next, we need to gather some market data. The best way to do this is to outfit your ship with some sensors and take it through some real-world scenarios so we can make more informed design decisions. Great! Just pick up a mission or two at the mission board and proceed like you normally would. We'll collect the data when you return. If you take on a variety of missions, we can build a ship to handle a variety of scenarios. But if you just fly one mission, we can build a more focused ship. It's up to you. In the meantime, you might also want to talk with the team, get to know them, give feedback on their proposals, etc. Good luck out there. all super glad you're here, right, everyone? Well, we are. A more focused design seems the proper approach. Ah, so you just did the one bounty mission. Well, doesn't look like you ran into too much trouble, I hope. Anyway, the data you collected will help us focus our ship design and cater towards certain pilots. Now we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> You seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this. I've tried everything I can think of besides some sort of hokey team building exercise. So, what do you think you can do differently? Hmm. I can't believe I didn't think of that. It's fair. Everyone goes around the table and makes a cut. That way no one feels like they're the only one being asked to compromise. This should drive us towards a more focused design. And since Walter asked you to take the lead on this, I don't have to be the villain here. So you're sure about this? Great! Let's get ready to disappoint everyone equally! I thought it was obvious. Until now, that's how it's gone, but no one's relenting. Wait. You didn't mean actual physical fighting, right? Nah. <sighs> well, here goes nothing. Okay, everyone. Our friend here, remember, not me, has decided in order to move forward, we're going to go around the table and everyone is going to give up one major aspect of your design. It's the fairest way to do this, and ultimately, I think it's going to make our collective design choices a lot easier. Who wants to start? <clears throat> okay, fine. I'll go first. I'm willing to cut some of the included hard points. It'll mean less firepower, but the consumer can still add them afterwards, I suppose. Uh, you're looking at me, huh? I guess that means you want me to go. Oh, look, I'll be easy. You know I wasn't looking for anything fancy, but if I've got to make cuts, uh, we can reduce some of the cargo base. Uh, I guess we can cut some of the extra sensors and data collection equipment? As long as this thing can still make it to deep space and back with no problem, I'll be happy. Um, I'd be willing to give up some of the passenger space, maybe? Yeah, that should be okay. Frank? What? I already agreed to cut a significant portion of the luxury features. Remember? I shouldn't need to cut anything else. Well then, that wasn't so bad. I feel much more confident we can actually build this thing.
This is going great. Just fantastic. Oh, yes, I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to give me feedback, but why not, I guess? I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the Starfighter market. Bounty hunting and mercenary work are both big these days, especially among the hard-blooded free stars. Still to go. Wonderful. Thank you. I'm hoping when the time comes, I'll be able to convince the others that's what we should go with. I'd rather be in a ship that can defend itself. Based on the decisions you made, it looks like we're going to end up with a very reasonable ship design. I have no worries about the feasibility of manufacturing and selling it. Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. I'm expecting big... At this point, I don't care what you have to do to get that project. Good to hear. I figured as much. See, I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. I've got to say I'm impressed with it. It's a bit safe, but also an elegant evolution of our past designs. I think it's going to be a great addition to our fleet. Now I'd be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line for all of your hard work. Feel free to pick it up at the Star Yard. Thanks again. I was afraid you'd say that. Look, I'm the one who has to go to the board with this proposal, so before I can convince them this is going to be worth it, you're going to need to convince me. Well, I'm all ears because it's going to take a miracle to convince them. Well, there's always room for personal improvement, I suppose. You're not wrong. We've got to ask them for more money anyway. Might as well go big. Okay, I think you made some good points. I'll go to the board with the kitchen sink proposal and get that approved. Well, Jules, it seems you have your work cut out for you. Great, that's one problem solved. I'll go forward with that budget proposal and we can move on. Next, we need to gather some market data. The best way to do this is to outfit your ship with some sensors and take it through some real-world scenarios so we can make more informed design decisions. Great! Just pick up a mission or two at the mission board and proceed like you normally would. We'll collect the data when you return. If you take on a variety of missions, we can build a ship to handle a variety of scenarios. But if you just fly one mission, we can build a more focused ship. It's up to you. In the meantime, you might also want to talk with the team, get to know them, give feedback on their proposals, etc. Good luck out there. So, you're Walter's friend. I know he chose you to head this project as some sort of... favor? Honestly, as senior technical designer, I was hoping to receive that honor, but, um... <laughs> uh, there's always next time. Regardless, I'm excited to help you out. Do you have any experience building spaceships? Good. We were worried you knew nothing and this would be a complete disaster. As long as you are willing to listen to us, we may still avoid that outcome. Now, 
I know you've been asked to give feedback on our design proposals. Would you care for a brief synopsis of mine? Of course. But first, let me ask you this. What pilot demographic is currently being underserved by the current starship market? Well, you're not fun. My idea is a little less... conventional. I believe we should invest in making a dedicated exploration ship, marketed toward citizen scientists. Sure, we and other manufacturers have lines of exploration ships, but none built with the average consumer in mind. It's my hope that we can jumpstart a new era of affordable, accessible space exploration, fueled by ordinary people like you and me. Thanks. Let me tell you, we would not regret going with my idea. This is a chance to do something that will truly inspire future generations. Well, as a senior designer, I'm trusted to work on some pretty important features on these ships. Most of my work is on the technical features, designing them to be more user-friendly. Computer systems like navigation, targeting, you name it. It may not be as glamorous as what Frank does, but without me, these ships would be almost impossible for the average consumer to actually use. See you that around. That data from your ship is going I to guess. be critical to our design process. Assuming I'm wondering if we need another chef in the kitchen. Then again, I hear Walter brought you in to finally make a decision around here. Good. Just so long as you don't push us to make anything too nutty, I think your decisiveness will put us back on the right track. Speaking of which, I think my plan will get us where we need to be as quickly and efficiently as possible. It's simple, no frills, and most importantly, won't cause me any major headaches on the engineering side. It's truth, and we need it. The others believe we need to think big and innovate. Reality is, we just need to do what we do better than anyone else. So I'm thinking, there's loads of fighters. No sense in mucking about with that again. And we've already got one of the best luxury liners in the biz. What I figure is, the cargo running business is booming. And no one's quite built a personal craft like that to serve the working class folk. Nothing fancy, no frills. Just a simple, sturdy, inexpensive ship with cargo room up the wazoo and make it so easy my cousin's little moppet could fly it. Wait, really? I was expecting we'd have to argue a bit more than that. <laughs> well, that's a relief. I hope you're being sincere. Because if I can convince them to go with mine, it'd save us all a lot of trouble in the end. Right, take care. Um, hi. <laughs> Need something? Oh, you really want to hear my ideas? I mean, I have an idea, but it's not that great. I'm not even a designer or anything. So, I was thinking that we could really use a recreational craft in our fleet. But not like super luxurious like our Adonis pleasure yacht, something marketed more towards families. Something mom and dad could pack up and take the kids on vacation. <laughs> you probably think that's stupid, right? Oh, really? Wow, I am... <laughs> Thank you! I'm really glad I told you about it. Well, if we end up making it, I swear I'll work up a hell of an ad campaign for it. Um, take care, okay? <laughs> you know, I have designed spacecraft for over ten years. So, you must have really impressed Walter for him to give you this project. Or maybe it's a bit of nepotism. Never mind that. <laughs> Perhaps he sees in you what he sees in me. Ah, yes. At least you may be more open to my ideas than my colleagues. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. Imagine a luxury craft designed for the most discerning of tastes. Every feature designed for comfort and peace of mind. 
high-end performance, precision engineering, a spacecraft for those who wish to be seen. This will be the most elite personal craft on the market. I'm glad you agree. Such an ostentatious luxury craft will be the envy of everyone in the settled systems. Yeah, yeah. See you. I can't believe Stroud... This is going great! Just... fantastic! Oh, yes, I actually do have a proposal. I wasn't really expecting you to give me feedback, but why not, I guess? I'd like to see us branch out a bit more in the Starfighter market. Bounty hunting and mercenary work are both big these days, especially among the hard-blooded Free Stars. Wonderful! Thank you! I'm hoping when the time comes, I'll be able to convince the others that's what we should go with. Versatility may not be what certain customers are looking for. So you managed to complete a couple different missions. This will give us lots of data to support building a ship that can tackle a variety of scenarios. Of course, if we build a ship like that, we may need the kitchen sink budget, but we'll see. Thanks for your help. Now, we just need to solve our interpersonal issues so we can agree on a design. Easy, right? <laughs> you seem awfully confident for someone who doesn't know how long we've been dealing with this. I've tried everything I can think of besides some sort of hokey team-building exercise. So, what do you think you can do differently? You know what? Why not? I'll try anything at this point. Stranger things have happened. And since you mentioned the idea, I think you should be the one to lead us in the guided meditation. Just feed us a steady stream of whatever positive affirmations you've got. I don't know if it will solve the design conflicts, but maybe it'll get everyone working with each other again. And I'll take what I can get, even if it leads to a more ridiculous design. So, you're sure about this? Okay, this should be interesting, since I doubt any of us know what we're doing with this. Okay, everyone, listen up. Our new friend offered to lead us in a group meditation session as a sort of team-building exercise. Everyone take a deep breath, try to relax, and we'll get started momentarily. Listen to what he says and repeat his affirmations. By working as a team, we can conquer any challenge. any challenge. Because Mr. Stroud is requiring us to listen to your friend, and I have every intention of doing just that, because I like my job and I don't want to get fired. My brilliant to guide us to our goal. I trust my team and they trust me. I believe in myself and my ability to do my job well. I to do my job well. We will get this project back on track and nothing can stop us from success. From success. Okay, I think that's enough of that. Thank you for leading us. I hope that was somewhat relaxing at least. Yeah, it was, kinda. It was fine. I'm good to go over here. You know what? I'll do whatever anyone wants, so long as I never have to go through something like that again. Okay, everyone. I think that's it. Let's get back to work. We're all super glad you're here. Right, everyone?
Based on the decisions you made, well, I'm not quite sure what kind of ship we're going to end up with, but it should be capable in a variety of situations. It sure will have a lot of stuff to it. Now that we've addressed all our issues, we can move forward, finalize the design, and get this into production pretty quickly. If you could do us a favor and let Walter know that we're back on track, I'm sure he'll be thrilled. Thanks for your help. I'm expecting big things from you with this. Good to hear. I figured as much. See, I just finished looking over the final design they sent over before you arrived. I've got to say, it's certainly interesting. They managed to cram just about everything they could into it. Honestly, I don't think it ever occurred to me to do something like that. I'll be honest with you. This is the most expensive ship we've ever made. But I'm confident we can set a price point to make it work. Now I'd be happy to make it my new personal ship. Additionally, I want you to have one of the first off the assembly line for all of your hard work. Feel free to pick it up at the Star Yard. Thanks again. Here on Vanguard Business? Well, the goal remains the same. Defeat as many opponents as you can before your ship is disabled. <laughs> 